depiction software introduces a revolutionary new way to show your customers what concrete interlocking paper products would look like on their home or commercial project. Hardscape Imaging software allows you to take a picture of the project with a digital camera and show the customer what that project is going to look like before they make their purchase. As you know, when a customer can visualize the difference pavers will make, it takes away their doubts and concerns and allows you to close more paver sales. Since 2002, Depiction Software has created imaging programs for many of the major manufacturers in the U.S. and Canada, including Bellgard, Pavestone, Unilock, Anchorblock, Roman Stone, and Hansen, to name a few. There are 23 manufacturers in the program that brings the image library to over 4,700 pavers in many of the popular colors and patterns. The program can also depict wall stones for retaining walls and garden walls and comes with hundreds of colors of wall stones and can also do stone veneer products like Coronado, Cultured Stone and El Dorado Stone. The program also comes with an extensive plant library from across the country and with hundreds of trees, shrubs, perennials, palm trees, and desert plants, along with other hardscape items like rocks, waterfalls, and outdoor furniture. And of course you can even add your own plants and hardscape items from images that you have taken of your own projects. So now I'd like to take a couple minutes to show you just how quick and easy Heartscape imaging software is to use. First you want to start with a picture of the customer's project that was taken with a digital camera and open it up in Heartscape imaging software. Then you want to clean up the image if needed. The program has a tool called the clone tool that allows you to grab color or texture from the picture and to remove objects like this basketball hoop in the image. Select the clone tool, then zoom in to see what you're doing better, and then right click to set the cloning brush and drag it to the left to paint with texture from the image. You keep doing this until the hoop and pole are removed. Now you want to tell the program where you would like to place pavers. In this case, I want to place pavers in the driveway area. You would accomplish this by using the drawing tools. Simply click points on the edge of the driveway with your mouse until you get back to the beginning and close the polygon automatically. It turns gray indicating that you're finished. Then click on the hardscape library button to bring up the perspective menu. The paper library has over 4700 colors and patterns available. The library can be sorted by the manufacturer by clicking on the company logo in the menu. Now it only shows products from the anchor block manufacturer. Then you can sort within the manufacturer by color or pattern. We're going to select on the basket weave pattern to narrow down the view to just Holland Stone in basket weave. Then just click on the color that you want to place on the driveway from the library of products and it appears in the defined area. Now we'll adjust the perspective of these pavers by grabbing on the perspective handles and moving them to match up with the edge of the driveway. Then you can dial in the scale of the pavers by sliding the scaler on the menu. To the left makes them smaller and to the right makes them larger. Once you have the perspective and scale set, you can change the color of the Holland Stone by simply clicking on another color from the library and it places it into that area with the perspective and scale already set. And of course you can always change it to a completely different product line and try out the colors within that product. Let's go with this one and we'll do some final adjustments here. Now let's place some Soldier Course pavers as a border along the edges of this driveway. We'll use the drawing tools to draw in where we want the Soldier Course border to be. Once we have it drawn in, we'll select Soldier Course from the patterns. Now we can see all the products available in that pattern. 
We'll select on the charcoal color from the library and adjust the perspective. And like the driveway, you can now experiment with different colors. I like the way the charcoal color matches the trim of the house, so we'll go with that. Now let's add a circle cobble pattern to the middle of the driveway. We open the circle library, select one, and size it down, then adjust the perspective with the warp tool to make it look like it's lying down on the driveway. You can always change the color of the circle by clicking and dragging other colors from the library and dropping them on the existing circle. It automatically sizes and warps them to match what you've already done. Now let's add a circular sitting area in the front yard and extend the walkway with pavers. To do that, we go back to the drawing tools and draw in the area. We'll grab the same paver product from the driveway by using the Grab Pattern command and we'll adjust the perspective handles for the patio. Then send the new area to the back so that we have a neat line at the Soldier Corps border, saving us a little time. Now you see the sitting area is drawn over the tree. So I'm going to zoom in and just cut that area over the tree to remove it. And now it looks like it's behind the tree. Now I'm going to be planting some shrubs in this area. So I want to cover up the grass and make it mulch. So again, I use the drawing tools and draw in the area using the circle tool. Then zoom in and edit the points along the sidewalk. Take a mulch from the library, adjust it, and send it to the back. And now I need to cut the tree again using the eraser tool. Now I'm ready to place some plants in the image. The program also comes with a plant library with thousands of plants from many zones across North America. All the plants are listed by their botanical names in alphabetical order. I'm looking for an agapanthus here. To place plants in the image, double click on it in the library to bring it up on the screen. And then size it down and place it where you want it. It's that simple. Now let's duplicate these plants that are sized down by using the duplicate command. Now I want to place a juniper next to the house. So I'll bring up the juniper library and select the one I want. I want to make it look thinner, so I size it down from the side, first making it narrower, and then size it proportionately. And place it next to the house, then duplicate it. Now I want to place a tree on the left side of the driveway. So I open up the tree library, Select on the tree, size it down, and put it into place. Now to make it look a little more realistic, let's place a shadow of the tree on the driveway. So I'll click on the shadow button, and it's made a shadow under the tree. Let me move it out here so you can see it, and make it darker by right-clicking and change the transparency from 25 to 35. Then to make it look like it's laying down on the driveway, I'll use the warp tool, warp it, and then move it back into place. Now I'd like to place an Australian fern next to the house. So again, I open it from the library, size it down, move it into place, And then to make it look like it's behind the pillar and the wall, I use the cut tool to trim off the edges. I'd like to place a rock here behind the agapanthus to demonstrate the layer feature. 
We'll open the rock library, find the rock that we want, and bring it to the screen. Size it down and place it where I want it. Now to make it look like it's behind the plant, I just drop it down one layer and now the plant is on the top layer above the rock. Now I'd like to demonstrate a quick trick to draw with flowers right here in front of the house. So I'll bring up some impatience and I'll place it over here. Then I'll use the eraser tool and crop out all of the impatience. So now I can draw in the plants where I want them along the walkway by right clicking and unerasing. And as you can see, landscaping does add a little more color and curb appeal to the image and it only took a couple minutes. Let's add a few final touch extras to the image. I want to call out the product that I used on the driveway and place it on the image. So I'll select on the driveway, click on the pattern library icon, then click on stamp it. You see it displays the manufacturer, color, product, and pattern used in the image. Of course this text can be edited and moved anywhere on the screen. Now let's say you want to add your company logo to the image. It's simple. Just import the graphic to the screen and place it where you want it. And if you want to place a before picture up in the corner, you use the same technique. You open it, size it, and place it where you want it. If you want to add before text to the image, you simply go up to Tools, Text, type it in, and place the text where you want it. Now you can email this image to your customer right from the program by clicking on Send JPEG Email. And it is automatically attached to Outlook and ready to send. Now one of the great things about the program is that things can be saved as a work in progress. So I'm saving the image, I'm going to reopen it, and everything in this image is still an independent object that can be changed. So let's say the customer decides that this is way out of their budget and they want to cut back some. So I just start selecting things they want to remove and press the delete key and they're taken out of the image. Now let's say that they want to change the driveway to a cheaper paver also. So we'll go back to the original Holland Stone in charcoal gray. And now we have a new image to present. You have just seen how quick and easy the program is to use. And this image was created in about 8 minutes. Imagine being able to show up to a potential customer's job site, take a picture, and then be able to show them pavers on their project from your laptop screen. A picture is worth a thousand words and a closed deal is worth thousands of dollars to your bottom line. Do it now before your competition does it to you. And if you are concerned about how you're going to learn the program, Hardscape Imaging Software comes with training movies for every command and tutorials that will walk you through the process of creating an image from start to finish. Hardscape Imaging Software has thousands of satisfied customers all across North America. So make sure that you browse our website and check out our Facebook page to see photo galleries of images created in Hardscape Imaging. And you can watch some of the tutorial training movies for more details if you wish. Contact Hardscape Imaging Software today and find out how you can get a copy so that you can start selling more interlocking pavers faster and easier. Call us at 817 764-0413 if you have any questions. Our friendly and knowledgeable staff is waiting to hear from you.